Let's have a look on the Kiwi Q1 Pro. So on top we got our power cable. I think this is a holder. Now let's just remove these plastic edges here. Okay. Oh, and some PLA Rapido 20 gram. It's getting less and less, but this time it's black. Interesting. So I think I can lift this whole cover. Here we got the printer itself. Some foam all around. See, ah, this should be grabbed with two hands and then lifted up. Okay. Okay, this works. This is how it looks underneath. Yes, again, the plastic film all around. Okay. Let's have a look on all the spare parts and paperwork. We got manuals and the quick start guide, spatula, some glue, some tools, and the USB flash drive, spool holder, and the filament. And let's go on and let's see what to do. First, cutting some cable ties. And the first thing I mentioned, it's not, it's not that easy to open the door. There is no real handle. I think there is written open, but you can't you can't easy grab it. Ah, here, this this works best, but it's also uh, not sticky or rough something, so um, it's not that easy. Uh, not not that easy to open the door. Okay, here we got our area two hundred fifty. Looks like PEI plate from both sides. Now there are some screws to loose on each side and the cable ties. Let's do it. Okay, now the print head is movable. Oh, yeah, this is just fixed with some magnets, so be careful comes easy loose, but looks quite similar to the other Kiddies, Kiddy X Plus and so on. So how was this fixed here? Ah, this runs like this here in these two holes. First string it, then let it come down and this stays. And this is now completely free, 4XY powered. Okay, I think that's all. What is to do inside? Yeah, this we did. Screws are lost. Last thing to do here inside is to removing this waste box. So I just pull on this tape, this glue tape. Then it should be lifted up and removed. Okay, this works nice. Was just saved for transport with this glue. No problem. Okay, then everything is ready. So, Kitty is booting. So choosing the language, English is okay. Now we are reminded to remove everything and we check it again. So screws removed, screws removed, screws removed. And all the cable ties are removed. I think it's okay. Yeah, they are all removed. Board moving clicks per platform is clean and unlocked. Okay. And it's moving. And also the print head is moving. Next is pushing in the filament using a dry box. And here we got a nice coupler. This I really love it. Here we got the filament. Okay. Let's press. Okay. Then we rise the temperature. 223, make a bit more, lightweight PLA, okay, here we can see how fast it is rising, I think this is a, this is a ceramic heat element, it's rising quite fast, and the filament is getting loaded, 
just press here again and to see how it moves in see when there's something coming out think a bit more we need I think this was default is black it should become green so I press again all this black is pressed out and it's getting the green turquoise color it's nice foaming the K Q1 says congratulations and then it's finished and now it will start the input shaping. So now we're here in the menu and according to the quick start guide we have to do the auto bed leveling, preheat hot bed. I go to my standard say about 50. Okay so auto leveling is completed. Now we have to do the input shaping and this will do also do automatically. Yeah same again I just I should adjust manually some screws but they are not really for adjustment and use this paper it's a bit old school I uh, think there's something strange I think he's now moving to all four corners and the center point let's see let's have a view on the software which came with the Kiddy One Pro uh, the version I got has an orca slicer and this is a very nice slicer. It's uh, mostly the same like the bamboo slicer. Just to have to select the Kiddy One Pro. I already made a lightweight PLA profile, but there are also some other profiles in between. You can see them. These are all default profiles that are already inbuilt for RBS, a lot of different RBS. So there are quite a lot of different materials that are presetted. That's very nice. Here we can see the settings I'm using for lightweight PLA. It's super easy to set up. Not so much settings like on Cura. Speed is also 35 cause of this foaming PLA and I use very high acceleration 12,000. Yeah. And that's it. Here we can slice. For instance, that's a, a fuselage segment from the JRM1 Junior. And this is how it would look like. Just make some travel visible. This is where we would see the oozing. But there is really less to see because of this fast acceleration. Yeah. And that's it. And that's a super important tick to make, avoid crossing walls. Then you see there is there's uh, much less um, oozing, much less travel in between all the walls. So when you print lightweight PLA, super important to tick this, uh, avoid crossing walls. And now it would be ready for printing. And here we can see the KD1 Pro on Fluid in a web browser. The webcam is already on. And just need to drag and drop the print job in here. When you are uh, looking for your printer um, after the IP address, you have to add 10088 backslash hashtag backslash. Then you will find uh, the, the printer. Otherwise, with just the IP address, it wouldn't found in the in the web browser. First big part printed by the CD. See the surface is, is a bit uneven. You can see this? You can see these lines there? Not that perfect. The back side is much better. Interesting. And here in the back, you can see <clears throat> there is a bit mess with this poop shot or how to call it. This doesn't work that well. Um, I thought I um, I thought I, I put it off um, on the slicer, but nevertheless it's still uh, doing something here. And the problem is that uh, it can't rush through this hole, so it stuck in there, and then we got a mess over there, and at the end also um, this cup is not that big. So uh, this is not not a good sol solution. Let's have a view from the top. Here we can see the area where the nozzle should be cleaned. This is some kind of plastic and we see 
now it's full could be removed but I think for this area some kind of rubber or silicone uh, would be much better would work much better see it is you see how the stacks there from 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 the oozing um, yeah not that nice solution I think I will will remove this or you have to clean it all the time I'm not so happy with this and also for comparing this is a GDX plus 3 I think this is slightly better than with the Q1 Pro and also with the XMAX 3 it's a bit be better we got these, these uh, dents here but the surface at all you, you can't see the, um, the layers that, that, that much and this is what I don't like here you can see this, the separate layers the key at 258 degree is printing a vertical stabilizer looks good so nice looks good so far so my conclusion to the Kidi Tech Crew 1 Pro it's a little bit mixed because of some deficits like I mentioned at the first point the missing handle then also installing the PEI plate is, is not that easy because there is just there's just a stop in the middle so you can easily position it wrong like this then it is up on, on this plastic area so you don't have a have an, uh, leveled bed Sometimes you need, like, like here, because there are very strong magnets installed. Sometimes you need a lot of attempts till you, till you meet inside this bed. Yes, and the second thing, or the third thing, is this area where the nozzle should be cleaned. I think this is not the best material for it. This is um, some kind of plastic, and you see the the material um, stuck on it. It's bonded to it, so here we can see it from above. This, this doesn't work really well. Also, sometimes the oozing falls beside this little container. Also, the container is inside and really small. It shouldn't be it, it, it should be outside, like on the bamboo lab. Yeah, this I would say this is not so nice on this printer. Also, the fact that we have manual leveling screws and the leveling is not complete automatically this were the, the minus points but on the plus side the printer does a good job print results are really good it's quiet the wireless LAN works nice so um, besides these three points I think it's, it's overall a good printer uh, just here this is not correct in the slicer I saw just 245 I'm not quite sure which is the um, exact number but I think this is not that big difference 250 or 245 yeah that's it for the kitty